Welcome to this edition of On the Scene. I'm your host, Tim Kelly. On today's program, we're talking about the holidays in Suffolk. A lot of fun activities and events coming up, courtesy our Division of Tourism, Suffolk Parks and Recreation, and the Suffolk Economic Development Department. Stay tuned. We're going to have all the details. Welcome back to On the Scene. We're joined now by Emily Upton. She's a Special Events Coordinator with Suffolk Parks and Recreation. Here today to share all the great holiday events that Parks and Rec has coming up for us. And we're going to lead things off with the big event, the Suffolk Holiday Parade, coming up on Saturday, December the 9th. So this year, uh, talk about what's involved with the parade, uh, the theme, and kind of when it kicks off, and maybe a little bit about the route as well. Okay. Uh, the theme this year is Jingle Bell Rock. Yep. So all of our units will kind of have that theme in mind when they're putting together either their float or their performance, their band. Uh, music, mm -hmm. uh, so it'll be great. They'll be coming. The the parade starts at the corner of Henley Street and West Washington, Got right it. there by the municipal building. Mm -hmm. So they'll go eastbound down West Washington Street. Right. Then they'll take a left on Main Street, go up Main Street, and the parade ends at Finney Avenue. Very good. So again, we never we don't we avoid any issues with trains or anything like no that. No trains We're, this that, year. That's for a us. distant memory, <laughs> so we'll put that behind us. But yeah. again, um, now there are sets of bleachers that are going to be located at different spots along the way. Obviously, people are encouraged to bring their own chairs and sit street side. Yeah. Uh, plenty of ample ample seating for that. But there are some bleachers in some locations. Where are those going to be spotted? Yeah. So there'll be one in front of the Parks and Recreation Maintenance Building. Yeah. There'll be uh, some along West Washington Street, uh, in front of the bank, down there on the corner. The grandstand, which yes. is where everyone will stop if they're a performance group right. or the band's performance, right. that will be in front of the SunTrust building. Okay. Now the, the main stand is on the SunTrust side, yes. which is where our judges will sit, but on the opposite side of the street is where we welcome all our guests to Perfect. come sit and enjoy the parade. Then there'll be another one a little farther down the route as well. So plenty of places to sit, but we do recommend you bring your own or at least a blanket to sit on because sometimes those bleachers get a little chilly at night. Gotcha. Now, do the, do the bands and some of the groups perform along the way as well? But they're stopping, like you said, in front of SunTrust yeah. over there on Main Street, but there will be some, obviously, they'll be performing all throughout yeah, the route. Yeah, so there'll be okay. music right. and performances yes. and the twirling of those flags all along the route, but for their main kind yeah. of judged performance, yes. that'll be right there in front of the SunTrust. Perfect. And again, yeah. the parade rolls at 7? Starts at 7 o'clock on okay. the dot. Yep. All right. And then um, as far as along the way, I mean, I know certainly encourage everyone to come out. It, it, well, well, it's going to be December. The way the weather's been lately, who knows if it's going to be <laughs> cold or not. But uh, I know y'all also bring in some extra lighting for some places. I mean, yeah. there's street lighting, of course, as well, but you bring in just a little bit. Yeah, so. if you're familiar with West Washington yeah. Street on a regular day, it's a little darker down yeah. that route. Yeah. So we do bring out some light towers, so you don't need to worry about it being a little darker in the yeah, evening. So no come out, we'll make it bright enough for you to bring all the kids, too, so you don't have to worry about any issues there. Now, obviously, this is a, a street parade, yeah. so therefore, we're closing down some streets. Yeah. But as a result of that, where would you recommend some good places for people to park who maybe don't live in that immediate area and can walk there so where would you suggest for them to park of course we always thanks first baptist for letting us use their large parking lot right there on main street okay. we also have the courthouse parking lot right uh, there is a city parking lot on saratoga street there is also um excuse me not the saratoga one we don't recommend parking in that one because you might be able to get there before the parade but it'll be a little tricky getting out yeah. so we don't recommend the saratoga street but on the other side of Saratoga Street, yes. beside those new, behind the new building, mm -hmm. the, um, there is parking back there. Very good. Yeah. And what time do the streets generally close off? I know they have to shut down because you got to get everybody clear, you got to get yeah. the, the vehicles that are parked on the streets, which again, if you pl normally park in that area, you need to clear those out of there, but it does close down a little bit early to get all that squared yeah, away, Yeah, right? line up in the neighborhood, yeah. back on the broad streets mm -hmm. and those uh, streets back there close yes. about 1 o'clock, yeah. and then the main streets close about 4 p.m. Okay. So just keep that in mind. There will be alternative routes to get around. Yeah. Yes. Town, of course, but um, 4 p.m. is when those main streets close down. Right. So and just it, be cautious when you're coming down. And there will be signage up as far as in the immediate downtown area to remind people that yeah. this is coming. Yes. Um, and then also, of course, there'll be you know police and public works folks as far as out and about as far as helping direct traffic in those instances where those detours are in place. Yes, yes. And also, if you live in that area, just be cautious of parking on the street because right. there will be restrictions on that yes. that day and leading up to the parade. But again, signage usually is put up, I believe, in those areas that are covered with that type of thing yes. so people would know. Yep. So, mm -hmm. so just kind of look for the signs. Usually, I think fluorescent or some yeah, bright, they're bright green. <laughs> easy to pick out. Easy to pick out. 
Okay, well, that's the holiday parade again, Saturday, December the 9th. Everything starts at 7. Again, a, a big parade route, so you can pick a good spot, get out there, uh, enjoy some of the maybe the local businesses in that immediate area um, who will probably be uh, tied into the, as far as offering some things on their own part. Mm -hmm. uh, again, way to bring out the family and just really have a really good time. Um, now, some other events that Parks and Rec are offering, and again, these are kind of spotted out in some different dates and times. Mm -hmm. We'll kick it off with the Lunch with Santa, which is on December the 2nd. Yeah. Now, where is that going to be held? That is at Northern Shores Elementary School. Gotcha. There is a Parks and Recreation Recreation Center there. Yes. It's on the back side where the gym is. Okay. And what do you need to do to participate with that? Because they do encourage pre-registration, right? Yes, yes. Okay. We do definitely encourage pre-registration. It is free for a child with an unwrapped gift to donate. Okay. Uh, parents, it's free for you unless you'd like to eat with the children because lunch is included. So if the parent would like to eat as well, it's just five dollars. Right. So, um, but if it's if you're just coming and the parent just wants to be there to see yeah. the kids' excitement, no cost. Got just it. that uh, we just recommend you bring an unopened gift for a child in need. Now, of course, the title of the event is Lunch with Santa, so you yes. figure there's food and then there's the big guy. Yeah. So what else do you have going on in relation to that? Do you have some other things kind of built around the event, too? Yeah, they have great little activities, crafts for the kids, and there'll be pictures with Santa that the kids can decorate as well. Perfect. Yeah. Now, to register, where do you need to go to the Recreation Center? Can you go to the admin office, go online, or what's the best way to make that happen? They, the best we recommend is to call Nicole. Okay. She is over the Recreation Center at Northern Shores, and her telephone number is 514-7249. Perfect. Okay, good way to get in touch with staff. And again, if you had any questions, too, you could probably ask oh, her yeah, as well. Oh, yeah, all those answers Very for you. good. And that event, just so you know, yes. it's 11 to 1. 11 to 1, again, on Saturday, December 2nd, correct? Yes. And then you have an event during the week. It's called the Holiday Jingle Mingle, December the 5th. It'll be at the Wellyville Community Center. Mm -hmm. What are we having going on there? We have Santa again. Okay. He will be joining us again in the city right. down in Wellyville Community. And there will be bounce houses for the kids, again, arts and crafts, and those pictures for Santa for the kids to decorate. Perfect. Yep. Now, with that particular event, it uh, sounds more of maybe an outside event. Given the nature of the bound houses are going to be located It'll inside. Be inside. inside. Yeah. Okay, very good. Okay. With so the weather, again, with we the bring weather, we'll take that out of the <laughs> equation. Do you need to pre-register for that one? We ask if you can. Yes. Okay. Um, we, right. If you can register as well. Again, this one is free, mm -hmm. and then for a parent, eat, it is five dollars. Okay. So there, um, uh, it goes from five thirty to seven thirty. Evening event. Okay. Very good. Very good. Okay. And then December the eighth, the holiday gala. Yeah. Uh, and again, that's going to be over at the East Suffolk Recreation Center. We have a change this change year. Change in the venue. Okay, very good. Spicing it up a little bit okay. this year, and we will now be at the Hilton Garden Inn. Ooh, so okay. Having, very nice. Making it a little more festive, yes. a little more fancy. Very good. So we'll be at the Hilton this year with plated meals for okay. the seniors okay. and dancing and all the fun that we've had at the other facilities, yes. but kind of getting you out and about somewhere a little fancier this now, year. Now, again, what are the time range for that particular now, event? Now, that event is 11 to 1. It's a lunch event. Right, perfect. Yeah. Okay, and again, geared toward our, our, our seniors. Active adults. Active yeah. adults. So that's a good way to put it. Yeah. So again, have them come out there. Again, what event I know that they look forward to. Uh, and again, you said it's going to be at the Hilton, Hilton Garden, Garden Inn. Inn. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Okay, very it's good. It's a $10 fee, and yes. that includes lunch and dancing. And I assume pre-registration. So you and I mean, we do uh, have pre-registration yeah. that one. That is required. Yes. So you can go to the Recreation Administration Building okay. or the East Suffolk Rec Center or the Whaleyville Community Center and pay your ten dollars fee there to register. Very good. And everything caps off with Santa's Calling, which will be on December the 11th. And again, we really work Santa quite a bit here <laughs> in the city of Suffolk. Um, He's not a City of Suffolk employee, but uh, he partners with us on a lot of great events yeah. like that. So again, that's a situation where um, parents can register uh, mm -hmm. to have uh, the big guy or his staff maybe yeah. give some children a call and make that very special phone call. So talk about how that process works as far as being able to get kind of connected with, with of them. Of course. So that event is on December 11th and December 12th. We oh, do oh, the phone events. calls okay. in the yes. evening starting usually around 630 and mm -hmm. going through about 8, 830 at night. So we have some wonderful Santas out to help yes. us and they make those phone calls to the kids. We just ask parents to fill out an information form yeah. and that could be found on the website. Okay. They fill it out uh, with their information for their child yes. so that the phone call is extra special. So some things that maybe Santa would know right. to make it a little unique for their child. Right. Well, in this electronic age, I mean, you know, we know Santa has his smartphone and he's yeah. out there doing everything, <laughs> but it's always good to go pen and paper and kind of get that information there just to connect up because, again, if you're trying to service all the children in the world, you got to know it's, it's just a lot of kids out there. Yeah, so. yeah. So we have the forms online to fill out. And yes. then also, if you participate in one of our events, either the Jingle Mingle or the Lunch with Santa, we'll have forms there for Perfect. you to fill out as well. That'll make it very convenient. Yeah. So, again, we have the Holiday Parade on Saturday, December the 9th. Yep. We talked about Lunch with Santa on December the 2nd. Yes. Holiday Jingle Mingle on December the 5th, mm -hmm. and of course for the uh, active adults. adults on the Holiday Gala on December the 8th, 
and everything rounds out what Santa's calling on December the 11th. So again, um, a lot of things going on through Suffolk Parks and Recreation. Certainly, if you have a kind of a general question, you could probably call the administration office over yep. there and, and talk to somebody there or call the venues like we talked about. Mm -hmm. But again, with the um, the holiday gala, you would still want to contact Parks and Rec, even though it's going to be held at Hilton Garden yes, Inn. Yes, that's correct? still run yeah, by us. Right. We're just hosting it there at the Garden Inn. Very good, very good. And again, you can look for information online, as well as if you want to stop by the administration office over there on South, uh, South, 6th, South Street, 6th Street. Sorry right next that. to the East Suffolk Recreation Center. We're in the first building you pull in. Very good. And you can ask some questions and, of course, a lot of great information there. Just want to say thanks to you and the Parks and Rec staff for offering all these great events. And, of course, the holiday parade is the, really the big one. We always kind of gear everyone to Grand Illuminations come and gone so Suffolk is already lit up by the time you're going to be seeing this particular program so again the parade kind of helps really bring in the festivities yes. there a night parade good chance to get out enjoy some of the cool weather that we're going to have at that night of right course. of course <laughs> uh, and then of course the other thing is you enjoy the sights and sounds some great local bands some dance yeah. performances all kind of different groups you see how creative people can get with the floats again hey. the theme is Jingle Bell Rock. Jingle Bell Rock. So again, a really a kind of a cool and hip happening time right there. So holidays in Suffolk, it doesn't get any better than this. Thanks to Suffolk Parks and Recreation for all the work y'all do. Thank you. We appreciate it. And we will talk more holiday events with the staff with the Division of Tourism right after this break. Welcome back to On the Scene. We're still talking holiday events, but we're going to shift over to our Division of Tourism and join us to talk about all the great things that tourism has to offer. We have Kathleen Kelly, who's a tourism development specialist with our Division of Tourism, which I think is kind of obvious, but we'll roll on, on from there. So we're talking holiday events. Now, of course, we got through with Parks and Rec. They talked mm -hmm. about the parade and all the great things. and tourism has its own great events too mm -hmm. and everything kind of leads off actually you've got a kind of a mixed bag of things we you do. have some yeah. movies and again always family friendly and, and great entertainment there but also some other opportunities to meet with Santa and yeah. again we've talked about how you know he's not a city employee no. <laughs> but again he, he works with us quite well so we, again, we have him on call a great relationship there so let's kick it off by talking about what you have on the movie front okay one is going to be over at the the train station yeah. the Suffolk Seaboard Railroad Museum yes if I'm saying we're, that correct. we're very excited yes. about this one um, this is going to be on Saturday, December 2nd, so yep. just a couple of weeks away. Yes. Um, starting at 5 p.m., um, we're encouraging all kids to come out in their jammies, and okay. I'll tell you why. All we're right. going to be showing the Polar Express. Oh, very cool. Uh, kind of a holiday classic, yeah. uh, a modern holiday classic. Yes. Um, came out, I believe, in 2004. Right. Um, really a fun um, stop motion type of animation classic mm -hmm. and um, you know we're going to be we're calling it movies under the stars okay. um, this is the first of our movies under the star series um, so we'll be doing other movies as the year and years progress very good um, and what we're asking people to do is to bring their own seating and their blankets uh, we don't know what the weather's going to be like correct so it could be freezing or <laughs> it is hampton roads it could be 80 degrees that's right that's right shorts <laughs> um, and t-shirt exactly something, yeah. so um, you could have board shorts right, on we right, don't know right. um, so we'll have hot cocoa okay. uh, we'll have some uh, treats for people to purchase okay. uh, we'll have the train station gift shop will be open for some pre-holiday shopping okay. um, but it should be a really fun evening um, and again we encourage the kids to dress up in their pajamas as the movie um, the the main right. uh, character sure. um, stays in his pajamas the right. whole time um, so it should be a really fun evening yeah. um, and since we get started at 5 it's right. not a real late night right. um, so we should be done by 7 7 30. Now how are you going to use the space there? Um, we have actually uh, we've contracted this is a little bit different okay. we've contracted instead of doing a big screen uh, we've contracted with a company that actually um, puts the movie um, on the side of a truck. Oh, I okay. know it's it's very unusual. Right. Um, they have the sound and the screen built into the side of their truck. Got so it. they they bring the truck in. Mm -hmm. It sounds ridiculous, but it's wonderful. Um, and everything is built into it. So they come in, park the vehicle there, Ooh. and uh, we'll have that inside the market park area. Got it. Um, and it'll be underneath, uh, not underneath, but near the tree. Right. So you'll have the tree lights and, sure. um, you know, everything will be fantastic. Um, and the sound is wonderful. It's right. all built into the the generator of the car and everything so you don't have to you don't have to worry about sound. So it's not issues. a random truck that gets no. pulled up. So this is this is a setup established. They, they, this is right. what this company I does. I got um, and this is our first time working with them and Very they good. have been fantastic to work with. And of so. course there's no charge for anybody to no attend. No charge. This is totally free. Now what about the amenities? You talked about that there might be a small charge for that. Yeah, I presume, uh, we'll, right? we'll probably charge maybe a dollar or so for a cup of cocoa yeah. um, and we'll probably have some uh, Christmas cookies okay. or um, you know some small yeah. uh, concessions or things like that. Now so. I know Market Park is not 
huge. It's not huge. Yeah. So and and of course you have the 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 Suffolk holiday tree that's there as well, which will already be pre lit, so you already got that on yes. going for you. Yes. But where would you recommend for people to park? Uh, parking, you can park over at the Prentice uh, parking lot, which okay. is across the street. Mm -hmm. um, we've got parking across um, over at the Prentice house, yes. which um, across the street there. Yes. Yes. Um, you can park down at the visitor center, which okay. is only a couple of uh, yeah. blocks down, and we've got a lot of parking down yes. there. Um, you can also park behind the Suffolk Center for Visit, uh, Cultural Arts. Okay. Um, I'm assuming, I don't know if there's any events going on over at the um, Baptist Church yes. that day. Okay. Uh, we will check and see if yeah. there's anything okay. going on. And if there isn't, we'll talk, talk okay. to them and see if they'd be willing to do some type right. of a... And, and uh, I believe if you're crossing that intersection, because we know how busy Main Street can sure, get. Sure, sure. Um, even on a, uh, this is a Saturday evening, it's correct? It's a Saturday yeah, evening. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, but there's nice crosswalk. Yeah. You just hit it and then the, the lights will sink mm -hmm. and you can get across there very safely. So right, there won't right. be an issue with that. So that's very good. Right. And that's Saturday, December 2nd. Right, starting right. at 5 p.m. Okay, mm -hmm. so that's on the 2nd, but you also have another movie we in do. a different venue. We do. Um, every year, tourism sponsors a movie over at the Suffolk Center for Cultural Arts. Yes. Um, in previous years, we've done Cinderella. Um, we've done, last year, I think we did Finding Dory. Mm -hmm. um, this year, we're doing um, Moana, which okay. has um, been very popular for yeah. the last year or so. Okay. Um, and I myself have not seen it yet, but I've heard wonderful things, and apparently the kids love it. Um, so it's kind of a um, ancient Polynesian tradition type of film. Mm -hmm. um, so the animation is supposed to be fantastic. Um, starts at 2 p.m. Again, totally free. Yeah. Uh, we recommend that everybody bring a, uh, a canned good okay. or a non-perishable item. Sure. Um, something that we can donate to one of the local food banks or something okay. like that. But it's not required. Right. Um, just you know, something that we can pass on to somebody else. And the Suffolk Center for Cultural Arts offers a very nice venue for we an do. indoor they thing. Do. I yes. mean, it, it's in a theater, so you kind of have that movie theater type experience yes. there. And again, you have the ambiance itself of the center. So again, it's a great location. Mm -hmm. You mentioned the fact y'all partner with them for several years now do. to do these movies to kind of help help families come on down to downtown Suffolk, hang out, maybe do some shopping, go see the movie, have lunch, and then hang around for the holiday parade, which exactly. of course is the same night. Just getting ready to yes. say that it's the yes. same uh, day as the parade. So, right. um, you know, we try to make it sort of later in the afternoon. By the time the movie is over, yeah. you know, you can um, hang around, as you mentioned, right. um, have a bite to eat. Right. Um, you know, have a bite to eat at Mosaics mm -hmm. there in at the Suffolk Center, sure. um, or you know, do one of the eateries downtown. Right. Um, stake out your spot for the holiday parade, mm -hmm. um, since from you know what I understand, it's it, it's it can be hard to find a good spot. It could be, yeah. Um, so you know, it's a, it's a really great um, a, a good day for everybody. And okay. one thing I did forget to mention is is that we have asked Moana herself to come. Oh, very good. And um, you know, take pictures with the kids yes. afterwards. So uh, we encourage everybody to uh, come in and after the movie and, cool. and get their picture taken. So. Yeah. Uh, uh, free, which is the best price right. in the world. Right. Family entertainment right here in Suffolk. Again, offered by the Division of Tourism. You have the one movie, uh, uh, Polar Express. Polar I almost forgot the name, but which is going to be held at the Suff Suffolk Seaboard. Seaboard Railroad Museum. Right. Uh -huh. uh, so again, you have a train a train holiday movie at the train station, which is a great venue for that. Right. Be outside for that one, and then you come inside on September. The, uh, excuse me, December the 9th <laughs> to to. Moana. Right. Moana. Okay, mm -hmm. got that. So again, two movies coming up very shortly. Right. Now, transitioning from that, we talked about Santa. He's all around. Yeah. So again, he's <laughs> going to be visiting again with the Division of Tourism a couple different times. And again, one, the first one actually is going to be happening again at the train station. Right. That same day yes. um, on the 9th, um, if you decide you don't want to go to the movie or right. if you'd like to try uh, meeting Santa beforehand and then come to the movie afterwards, right. uh, we've got tons going on that Perfect. day. Perfect. Um, on that same day at the train station right. um, from 1 to 5. Okay. Um, I believe that's right. Yes, 1 to 5. Yes. Uh, we'll have uh, Santa over at the train station, okay. um, so bring your camera, yeah. and we, um, he'll be there, again, free of charge. Right. Um, you can have your picture taken with Santa. Nice. Um, it, it, it's a great opportunity yeah. to get your picture taken. So, And uh, again, the following weekend, you actually have two more opportunities. We do, yes. And both of those are going to be at the Visitor Center. Both of those are at the 524 Suffolk. North Main? Yes, 524 North Main, okay. um, both at the Visitor Center yes. um, on the Saturday the 16th. Yes. That will be from 11 a.m. in the morning um, until 4 p.m. in the afternoon. Okay. Um, and then on the Sunday of the 17th, yes. that one is actually bring your pet, right. <laughs> um, which I'm not sure I would bring mine, um, right, right, but right. uh, well-behaved pets. Yes, All course, pets must, must be leashed. Right. Um, and we ask that people bring um, some type of a donation yeah. that we can give to the uh, Suffolk Animal Care Center. Right. Um, you know, the, there's a list on their website of what they're looking for, right. um, some food. Perfect. Um, leashes, bedding, that kind yes. of a thing. Um, we like to try and give back as much as possible at this time of the year. So, um, again, 11 to 4 
tour on both of those days, 16th and 17th. So Santa's so. pretty good sport. He's got a lot going on that month. <laughs> <laughs> what, yeah. now, what, what kind of typically, I know you, you've had the event with Santa and, and the animals, right. if you will. Mm -hmm. It's not Noah and the Ark, but Santa <laughs> and the animals. Yeah. But what type of animals have come by? Now we, I'm sure you have dogs and cats. Yeah, we do. Those are given. Yeah. Any, any exotic things that We've people brought couple, in over the years? Um, I believe about maybe two years ago, or it might have been last year. Um, I was not there, but right. I did see pictures. Somebody brought a snake in. Okay. Yeah, and we have a very good, Santa was very good natured about <laughs> it. Uh, he sat and yeah. posed with the snake. Very so, good. Um, he, I don't know how you pose with the snake, but I guess there's a way to Santa make it Santa had the yeah. snake wrapped around really? him. So I okay. give Santa props for that. Hey. So, um, yeah. Good the on you, buddy. The guy serves all. So, all right, all right. Good okay. on you, buddy. So, so again, yeah. that's Saturday, December the 9th which will be at the train station. At the train station, yes. The 16th will be back at the visitor center, mm -hmm. and the 17th will still be at the visitor center, but that's open to pets. Right, right. Very and good. if you don't have a pet, you yeah. can still probably bring your kid in uh, and I'm get sure. your picture taken, right, but right. we do recommend pets. I so, understand, yes. very good, very good. Now, of course, you know, we talked about all these events that are going mm -hmm. on, and that's what this show's really been about. Right. But there's also a unique opportunity coming up, and it's, it's really before a lot of the events we've right. talked about. It's gonna be on Saturday, November 25th, which right. is the Saturday after Thanksgiving. Yes. And again, it's called Restored. Yes. So tell us a little bit about that. We have about a minute or two left in the okay. show. Just real quickly, what we're talking about, that great opportunity okay. through our economic development department. Okay, well, as you know, uh, Black Friday is usually the uh, Friday right after right. Thanksgiving. Um, and this one is um, the Saturday afterwards. Um, and what it is is basically we work with, um, it's, it's spearheaded by our economic development department. Right. And uh, we work with um, local uh, operated yes. um, independent yes. stores downtown. Mm -hmm. Um, and it's really a way for people to kind of test out the market and see if it's something that they would like to do. Um, it's a great way to kind of see what's out there, um, you know, handcrafted, yes. um, thoughtful gifts. Mm -hmm. um, there's nothing wrong with going to the big box. Right. I mean, I myself love them. Sure. Um, but this is a really great way to kind of check out and see what your yeah. downtown area might have. Um, and a lot of these stores can just come in for the day, um, you know, rent space for the day, not rent, but right. can, can um, utilize the space, utilize the space yeah. for yeah. the day. Yeah. Um, and, you know, it's from 10 in the morning until four in the afternoon. Um, there's entertainment, there's, um, you know, activities for the kids. Right. Um, you know, it's 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 a it's a win-win for everybody. And, so. and that's Saturday, December twenty-fifth. Right. So if you know if you didn't, well, hopefully you didn't do all your shopping. Yeah. On, 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 you said on, on Black Friday and, yeah. and, and in some instances some people start on Thanksgiving Day. Go figure. But nonetheless, <laughs> it, you have that opportunity to kind of you know to, to shop local, right. which is great. Local businesses, unique items, like you said, a lot of handcrafted yes, items and things yes. like that, as well as a variety of other items that are available. You talked about there's music, there's entertainment, you mm -hmm. have food opportunities, again, with all the restaurants and everything down there, as well as perhaps maybe some other opportunities yeah. that are being worked into there. It's really almost like a little mini festival. Yeah, sense. and I believe it's um, the, the 100 block of uh, Main Street. Yes. Um, and again, all um, details will be um, on the um, Economic Development website. Perfect. Okay. Um, so I believe that's yessuffolk.com mm -hmm. um, and all of their social media media platforms have all the Very details. Good. So, um, you know, just keep it. up to date with yeah. what they've got going on. Um, they're, they're the ones you want, you need, right. need to ask about that. Right. So, um, well, yeah. you know, people, some people, you know, really look at the holidays as being, you know, the gift giving. Yes. Sure, it's, the receiving is maybe not as important <laughs> as the giving part, but the fact is people reaching out to others. You talked about the donations sure. for, for the animal shelters. You talked about the donation for some of the food banks mm -hmm. and things like that. So it's a great opportunity to give back to your community uh, and your loved ones and your friends and your neighbors. And these are more opportunities to do that. And not that it's all about the gift. It certainly is not, but uh, if you're looking to do that, Restored offers you a great opportunity to Absolutely. tap into some local businesses and opportunities of people that want to, like you said, set up the, the mock storefront, right. but, but offer some really nice items at good yeah. prices and things like that for the holidays. Yeah, it's a really fun yeah. day. Um, everybody seems to really love it, and we're, again, hoping for good weather. Perfect. Um, you know, even we'll if be. it even if it rains a little bit, yeah. you're indoors. That's so, right. you know, how bad can it be? Very so, good. yeah. Well, again, the holidays in Suffolk, plenty of things to do yes. right here in Suffolk. And again, that's courtesy of our Division of Tourism, Suffolk Parks and Recreation, the City of Suffolk Economic Development Department. Everybody's coming together to make the holidays extra special and extra festive, So, which is the thing we're always looking forward to. So Kathleen, thanks for your time today. Thank you. Appreciate that. And that will do it for this edition of On the Scene. I'm your host, Tim Kelly. We'll see you next time.